what is up guys and welcome back to some more VGC 2019 with the Gravity Ground uh, Groudon team. And so far this team is doing pretty good. Pretty good. We're 4-0 in the first two episodes of this team. Four total battles. Obviously these ba the rest of these battles are from my previous team. But so far this team is 4-0 on battle spot. Giovanni, Rainbow Team Rocket, League Title Defense. Here goes someone from the UK with the 1618 rating. And they're rocking the Venusaur, Groudon, Evelta, Incineroar, Tapakoko, and Ferrothorn. Ugh, Grout on Venusaur is a problem. Can't go Xerneas. They have Ferrothorn. And then Incineroar probably has Roar. Plus, we have Venusaur to worry about with Sledge Bomb and probably Sleep Powder. And then they have Groudon and Incineroar for my Ferrothorn. Plus, Evelta. Evelta also hits Ferrothorn pretty hard, especially because I'm especially defensive. Hmm. <laughs> I could go Drift Blim, Top Lele, Groudon. Uh, there's no point in bringing Ferrothorn, there's no point in bringing the Moongus, so I guess I'll just have to bring Xerneas. They might just straight up lead off with the Venusaur and, um, what's it called? Groudon. <clears throat> Who the heck be calling me? Scam. Yep, <laughs> grab on Venusaur. <clears throat> Shiny Venusaur. Okay, so I don't know about getting up gravity here, bro. I don't know about getting up gravity here. I'll lose Lele here. There's also that chance that they're gonna go for a sleep powder. But then we get a free switch into Groudon. Because <clears throat> I, I could tell when protect Lele. Following turn, um... Unless he's expecting me to protect my Lele. I'm gonna do it. I'll go for gravity. <clears throat> Straight for the sleep powder and oh, he went for Driftlim. And connect, uh, connect, and connect to the sleep powder, of course. I think I just helped out um, Groudon now. Went for Fire Punch. Yep, he's doubling up into Driftlim. Damn, I helped out the Groudon. It sucks that he connected the the sleep powder. He's gonna go for precipice blades now. Come on, Driplim. Get the tailwind up. Yes! Woo! Let's go! But I think we're gonna lose our I think we're gonna lose Driplim right here. Driftlin survived? Oh my god. Hypnosis, the Groudon, and Psyshock, the Venusaur. You could switch out to Incineroar right here. You know what? I should have probably predicted that and switched that into Groudon. Switch out top of Lily into Groudon. Yeah, that's gonna be Incineroar. Into the okay, Velta has the same thing. All right, I'm bringing out Groudon. I'm gonna switch out to Lele into Groudon. We're gonna put Evelta to sleep too. All 
Alright. Put you to sleep. Let's switch out into Groudon. I should have seen that switch coming and should have just switched out Lele. God, dude. I hate when I second guess myself. Like, I knew he wasn't going to leave Venusaur there. So that pretty much tells me that that's not a focus slash Venusaur if they switched it out. Okay, Groudon's still asleep. And we still have... Okay, this is our last turn of Tailwind, actually. Wow. That's actually not good. And I'm gonna Swords Dance. If Groudon wakes up here, though, I can't... It's gonna knock out my Drift Land. I'm not gonna be able to get up, um... I'm not gonna be able to get up Tailwind again. Screw it. Swords Dance. It would be sweet if uh, Groudon can stay asleep here and I can get Tailwind up again. The sun is gone too. Gravity did return to normal though. Gravity did return to normal. Okay, so uh, Tailwind and Precipice Blades. Okay, so Gravity's back to normal. That sucks. But now my opponent also does not have a chance to connect uh, Precipice Blades. So they don't have Incineroar. It's Groudon, Evelta, Venusaur, and um, Ferrothorn, Evelta, Groudon, and Venusaur. And they have to switch out Groudon in order to help out their Venusaur, so... I'm gonna get Tailwind up, and I'm gonna switch out Driplin, bring in Top Lele, and then get Gravity up. Pretty much a sweep from here. They also risk Ferrothorn going down right here. Oh yeah, I don't have Gravity up. Oh, we connected. This is a plus two life orb. Okay, Groudon survived. Groudon woke up. Went for oh, Rock Slide! Free switch into Lele. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He wanted to take out Driplim. But I guess he wanted to get a tiny little bit of chip damage on Groudon. Free switch into top of Lele. Let's go. Groudon, dude. This team is just 100% based on Groudon. Like, you gotta get Gravity up to help you out. So, he has no Incineroar. He can't intimidate my plus two Life Orb Adamant Groudon. Uh, gravity right here. That is just GG, my friend. We just we basically just sweep my opponent now. If he wants to switch out Groudon into Venusaur, go ahead to get the sun back up. But that's just GG. He could protect Evelta right here, expecting me to go for a Moonblast, but I'm going Gravity. And we still have our Sash intact, <clears throat> and my opponent does not know that. It's probably Ferrothorn. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't matter, my guy. So you're going to let Groudon go down? You're going to let Groudon go down? Groudon goes down at, the, at that range from my uh, Precipice Blade, so it doesn't matter. And we're getting chip damage. Oh my god, we one shot. Damn, we one shot the Ferrothorn. Get out of here. Out of it, Groudon. This is insane. Life Orb, too, by the way. That's game, dude. That's literally game. He's not switching out the Groudon. He knows he can't. And we outspeed your Evelta, so... Groudon goes down. Groudon, your Groudon's dead. 
And you can protect your Velta, but it doesn't matter. We'll get it the next turn. And I still have Sash on Lele. Evelta, you're probably going to protect. You, ha you're, you have to stall out my, my Tailwind turns. And I still have two turns left to Tailwind, bro. You're losing two Pokemon here. You are losing two Pokemon. <laughs> oh, man, I am loving this team. There it is! He's withdrawing the Groudon! I should have attacked that slot, expecting that. That probably could be Focus Sash Venusaur, or does Venusaur take the Precipice Blades? This is a plus two Precipice Blades Life Orb. We still have one turn left to Tailwind, though, my man. We still have one more turn. You are Sash! I guess he just didn't want to break a Sash. Okay, so you weren't wide lens, so you literally got lucky with that sleep powder. Damn, dude, I hate that. Okay, so we still have three turns left to gravity, one turn left to tailwind, moon blast, the Evelta. Oh, why am I about to go to fire, fire, fire punch? Press blades. Just to get the sun up, he's sacrificing the Groudon. Ah, uh, this still could be pretty bad. He's going to protect Venusaur. Okay, he has Sleep Powder, it... Ah, damn it. Damn it, 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 Okay, his play is probably Sledge Bomb and Knock Off. I don't see why he would go for a Sleep Powder. The only reason why he would go for a Sleep Powder into, like, Lele is if he's expecting me to be, like, um, what's it called? Focus Sash? I still have two turns left of Gravity, so I think he's just gonna straight up attack. I'm gonna take out the Venusaur, and I'm gonna go press up his Blades. He has to go for Sledge Bomb, and if he doubles up into Lele, expecting Focus Sash, then we get a free 100% uh, accurate press of his blades on him. He does go for the Sleep, and he, and he can, oh my god, dude, he connected the Sleep Powder. Are you serious? And he's going for Venusaur, I mean, Groudon. Dude, that's re that is ridiculous! <laughs> Sleep Powder's 175 accuracy? I was about to say, that's what's gonna bring him- That's the only thing that can bring him back if he connects a Sleep Powder. And he connected the Sleep Powder. Two Sleep Powders, no miss. Wow, so lucky. Oh my god, dude, you gotta be kidding me. Psy Shock, the Venusaur again. Is he- Is he hoping for another Sleep Powder connection here? I'm not gonna. Uh, he can expect me to protect. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna attack. I'm just gonna attack. Sure this. And moon blast. Watch him connect another sleep powder, and I'm just done. I'm just done, dude. I'm just. Done. <laughs> wow! Sleep powder brought him back. Please, Lele, wake up. Teach him a lesson. Teach him a lesson. Yes! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Heck no! Uh-uh. Hey, I did not get the gravity up and just destroy your entire team with Groudon just for you to come back because you keep connecting with a 75 accuracy sleep powder. Come on! Come on, dude. That's game right there. I'm protecting Lele right here. Burn a turn of sleep for Xerneas. Let's go. I, I I still feel like hypnosis. You should be rewarded regardless if you have like gravity up because of the at like like when you use a uh, spore with the Moongus because you're slower than the um because you're slower than the oh, oh my god you got a crit? Are you kidding me? 
He got a critical hit. I should have attacked with Lele. Like, since Hypnosis has slow, low accuracy, if you connect with it, you should get, like, three turns of sleep. At least that's how I feel. Dude, you got a critical hit with a knockoff. That actually kind of sucks. That would not have done that much damage. I need Zarnius to wake up here, because now because of that crit, once again, uh, he kind of has a chance to win if Zarnius stays asleep. Because that's the max speed of Elta. Oh, he attacked Xerneas! What the heck are you doing? I think he just gave up. Good. I would have been so tilted if he actually came back because of those sleep powders. I would have been pretty tilted because he... I thought he had... If he had Wildlands, I don't, I don't mind that. I've run Wildlands on Venusaur to help me out with sleep powder. But damn, he did not miss one sleep powder at all. You know, I think I might just bring this thing for the international challenge. The online competition where where top where shiny Tapu Lele is the prize. I think I might just bring this team. Dude, Groudon, dude, but Groudon just can't be stopped. If you get Tailwind up and Gravity up and the Swords Dance up, I mean, it does require a lot of setting up. Tailwind, Gravity, and Swords Dance. Um, that That's a lot of stuff you have to do. So it's it's pretty risky, but if you, if you can get it up, if you can get all of those three things up, Groudon just absolutely destroys teams. Here we go, Zygarde, another Venusaur to counter Groudon. Segalio, Incineroar, Tapu, Fini. Okay. A bit of a problem here, actually. Because you have Tapu, Fini, that's going to shut down my... Um... <clears throat> Tapu, Fini's going to shut down my Hypnosis. Uh, I want to go Amoongus and Xerneas. If I can get up um, Geomancy, I can switch in Groudon and go for a plus two Hidden Power Fire on the Sogalio that should be able to KO it. <clears throat> and then go Groudon, of course. And I think we bring in Tapu Lele. I could bring Ferrothorn, but I think Tapu Lele is the way to go. We don't have any uh, Tailwind support here. I'm not sure about bringing in um, Drifblim here because Hypnosis and Will-O-Wisp are useless here because of the type of Fini. And another problem is if Vasagalio is uh, whatever it is, the item that bypasses my Spore. <clears throat> okay, they're going Venusaur and then going uh, Sigalio. We'll find out right now. Spore Segalio, protect Xerneas. I forgot what the item is called, but it won't be able to go to sleep if it has it. And I'm pretty much screwed. That's Tapu Fini. Okay, so you don't have you don't have that item on the Segalio. God, what is that item called? I forgot. Okay, so I'm gonna switch in top of Lele and we'll spore the Segalio again. Please tell me you went for Trick Room. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, you know what? I think I'm more afraid of the uh of the Feeny than I am Sagalio. Yeah. I think I'll swore top of Feeny. Because I'm Sash anyway. 
And we switch in Lele. Ah, he withdrew it! Ah, damn, I should have gone for Sporn to Sigalio. He's gonna switch it back in. This must be a pretty slow team. Okay, so what I could do here is double protect. Well, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. We're going to Rage Powder. And I'm going to Gravity. <clears throat> he has to switch out and send him back out into Tapu Fini. I did a lot of damage. Okay, we get gravity up. And let's see. You okay, have two turns at the trick room. Alright, so let me go sludge bomb into Feeny. And we'll let um We'll let Lele go down here. He has Icy Wind on the Tapu Fini. He reversed Trick Room? What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna go Rage Powder. Precipice Blades. Yeah, this isn't looking good. I should have gone for the Essence and Or. I should have gone for the, um. What's it called? The Spore into Sigalio. Yeah, on top of Fini out speeds. Double crit, by the way. Yeah, I should have gone for the Sworn to the Sigalio. Damn, we activated both of their berries. I don't want to knock anything out right here. I don't want to knock out Incineroar. Let's go for Sledge Bomb into Tapu Fini and let's uh, protect our Groudon. That critical hit with the Icy Wind kind of sucks. <gasps> he protected? I mean, he went for Groudon? What the heck? I wanted him to knock out the Umungus. Okay, Rage Powder. Precipice Blades. I wanted him to knock out the Amoongus so I can bring in Xerneas for free. No! This looks like our first loss. He 
Still going for Moonblast, but I think that my KO Moongus at that range because of the crit from the Icy Wind. Yep. Do we still- do we outspeed Incineroar though? Okay, Incineroar is asleep. I'm okay with that. No! Gravity's back to normal! I could sure- I sure could have used the Swords Dance. Okay, so basically what I could do here- Oh no, Venusaur at speeds. Eee! Rip! Okay, so what I could do here is go for Hidden Power, Fire, and Precipice Blades. Expecting my opponent to expect me to protect Xerneas. I kind of want to do that. Hidden Power Fire and Precipice Blades. Oh, never mind. He's got, he's got Grass now. Yeah, he does have that thing for Groudon. He has that thing to counter Groudon. Look at that. If I got Geomancy up, that would have been enough. Oh, it's Weakness Policy. Damn, it was a good game though. It was a good game. Yeah, I should have gone for Spore into Segalia. I wasn't. I didn't expect him to switch out Tapu Fini as well. Yeah. So he. Had, okay. So like, uh, just how people are running Ludicolo on their team without with no Kyogre, I think they do that to counter other Kyogres. So I'm guessing that's the reason why he has Venusaur here to counter Groudon because he has Grass Knot on it. But that was a good game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys again next time.